Hi everyone, how are you going? This is my topic of the week, which I'm starting to do. And this week I'm going to be talking about connection and why connection is important and what connection actually means. I just have some little notes there. So connection basically is a word that was coming around from the Latin 1400s and it means um, to to equivalent and to tie. So con means equivalent, um, same as, and um, nectary or, or nectar, however you pronounce it, is to tie. So it's very much about bringing things together and that's really part of the triad of what my message is very much about, which is about bringing people bringing things together whatever things that is and it's very much about creating a real link creating you know something that's solid creating a connection together unitedness and that this is part of the important message that I have and the reason why I have this important message is because I spent a lot of my life being disconnected so I was extremely disconnected for a long long time I started living with an alcoholic pedophile from the age of five and I learned very easily um, how to disconnect from my body so I could actually be floating around just observing what was going on without actually feeling anything. So I really learned the opposite to presence when presence is very much part of connection and that was the disconnection so that I was able to actually be totally disconnected and from that element of disconnection I was then able to find other ways to disconnect from myself sex drugs rock and roll craziness um, yeah any way to basically stay disconnected from myself disconnected from other people and that that is something that we do when we take drugs or mind altering things we are actually disconnecting from ourselves and we're disconnecting from other people and it's going on all around us it's everywhere so the other thing about connection which really floats my boat is the the fact that the connection is about the, the ad it's about adding so it's not about this lack mentality of actually taking things away it's very much about adding things and bringing things together so that really really does it for me because I like the idea of bringing things together and adding things as opposed to to taking things away so to join to hook to unite you know that that's really really good so we connect all the time like we are connected all the time it's whether we are consciously connected or not consciously connected is 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 very important so you know our cells are connected to each other our cells are connecting to you know our nervous system which are connecting to other cells which are connecting to create organs which are create body systems and this is going to be a subject that I'm going to talk about in the next two weeks so next week it's going to be about um, light connection and why is that important and that is important it's hugely important because when our cells don't connect then we actually Actually have disease because there's a communication breakdown so you know um, in most relationships they say that communication is 60% of the issue that people have is about communicating and it's about sharing that deep connection sharing the vulnerabilities sharing what you're feeling sharing what's happening and allowing us to be connected in that sharing so you know when people are being a certain way that we don't like or they're doing something that we don't agree with or they're doing something that we you know we don't think they should be doing you know like we can disconnect from people um, and pull ourselves away from people because it's easier to do that than to actually stay connected to ourselves and stay connected to what we're feeling and what's happening and what's going on in our bodies so one thing that I liked about the definition of connection it was it was to create a real link so we establish a real link and this is a part of a big movement that I do and part of the seminars and the work that I do with people is is that realness so I'm very much about real so keeping things real is really important because we can go through relationships and we can just make everything nice we're just being nice or we're just going along to get along and or we're behaving a certain way because people want us to or we're being a certain way because people want us to and the reality is it's just it's just not friggin real you know like that's not real so it's okay to be real I give you permission to be real and to be real about who you are and to step into your own geniusness and to step into your your true sovereignty of who and what you are you know and to keep those those connections real so part of the work that we do in the workshop is is very much about allowing people to to declutter themselves and allow themselves to declutter um, 
emotionally so emotionally decluttering that clutter you know mentally clearing those thought processes spiritually decluttering us of, of entities and hooks and attachments or whatever energy it is um, and physically like decut clean the bloody body get the body clean of toxins so once people start working and we start clearing those channels and we start making those those channels very clear what tends to happen is that people suddenly realize that the things that they can be connected to and it can be my car and it can be my boat and my nice house you know really don't mean anything at all like they do not mean anything what really means something is the connection that we have with other people and the way that we truly connect to other people is by sharing who we are so sharing that vulnerability you know sharing that pain sharing that joy it doesn't always have to be you know the painful side of things it can be sharing my dreams and sharing my passions and sharing what we're very much excited about and actually seeing ourselves connected to that and sharing that so there's very many values to be having in connection and the next uh, four weeks is going to be all about connection so you know once we start to honor and feel that value and that can deeper connection that we have with ourselves that then starts to play out in our lives externally so as we deepen the connection to others um, so then you know we start deepening how we see others and how we connect to them and how we can relate to them we also find ourselves becoming more tolerant more patient more compassionate and to me that's a sign of someone who is spiritually evolved we are all spiritual beings everybody no need to keep pretending that we're not and hiding away from the spiritual world um, we are spiritual beings and it won't be you know it will be a matter of years when everyone can acknowledge that so we are spiritual beings <laughs> okay so the more you can honor that the more you can actually start to see yourself um, just becoming less reactive like less involved in the dramas and observing what's actually going on because you've got a deeper connection with you yourself like you know who and what you are so you know when we know who and what we are if someone comes up and does something we don't like or reacts or behaves a certain way we don't like you can just go it's they're just doing their thing you know they're just being who they are I'm connected to me I know who I am I know what I need to do to keep myself centered I know what I need to do to keep myself aligned and that's okay like that is okay they're just doing their thing so yeah um and the more you know we can deepen the connection to ourselves as well the more we can actually be open to sharing more love you know we hear the saying that you know you can't love someone until you love yourself and it is true it is true so the deeper that you can actually be connected to that love you have within yourself the deeper the connection you can have in loving loving other people and then you can take your relationships to a deeper level so you know there is deeper connections that can be had rather than just the physical connections that we have with people you can actually take that to a deeper awareness so some of the practices to help with connecting is 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 practicing the art of presence and just being present and staying in your body and I'm happy to help you and work with you one-on-one -on -one with that um, and other um, exercises um, is also you know being mindful just being mindful of, of when your buttons are being pressed what's happening around you you know being mindful of when when you're being upset by other people when you're being triggered by other people because that, that's all stuff there to clear and declutter and as you start clearing house clearing house clearing house you know you just find that everything will flow a lot easier and it will become more of a flow through life which is which is great and life's always going to have its ups and downs and that's good so my advice for you as well is you know when you say goodbye to your loved ones you know just watch what you're saying give them a kiss give them a hug tell them that you love them and if you know they find that hard because you're not it's not usually that way then and they can be stiff as a board that's okay just keep going just keep doing it keep building that connection you know if there is people in your family that you haven't spoken to for a while you know what 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 does it matter what is it you know is it really important make that bridge you know contact that family member talk to them tell them how you feel you know you're not always going to get the response that you want might not happen the way that you would want it to happen but you know you've made that connection you've thrown that energy out 
so yeah the more we can just be connecting to others we can be connecting to ourselves the more love we can have for ourselves the better part of the reason for my movement here and my wanting to get my message out is because you know there there is a lot of people out there hurting other people and hurt people hurt people you're going to hear me saying this a lot over time so you know as we can heal that hurt within ourselves we'll find that we won't need to be doing that we won't need to be hurting other people as much and and that's a fabulous and amazing thing so you have a great day and i will talk to you when i'm talking to you apart from that yeah connect in connect into yourself connect in with your loved ones um practice mindfulness practice presence and bless you all see you later bye